welcome back to my channel. For those who do not know me, my name is Namalinella Schatz, Mrs. Schatz for you, and to my gang gang, my notification hands, welcome, welcome, welcome back. So as you can see with the title today, we are doing a review of the Dream Foundation according to me. We are doing a review of the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation Stay In Place Makeup. And um, I've had this foundation for a couple of months now and I don't know why I actually delayed to do a um, review on this foundation. But I'm thinking that I had to push my drugstore uh, foundations first. And because this is the only high-end foundation that I have, it comes in this beautiful navy blue packaging. It is absolutely stunning. So um, this is the color um, sandalwood. So you actually see the name of the color at the top of the box. And underneath you've got the barcode. Um, this retails for this price on the screen and you can get it from your Truett store um for Shini, if i'm not mistaken also so it comes in a beautiful frost bottle this is a 30 millimeter the average um foundation size it has a beautiful gold uh, lid and it yo know, it the packaging is stunning don't for, like, uh, forget my crusty nails. I know I've got crusty nails. So I did my eyes off camera. Um, if you know me by now, um, I don't really do um, my eyes on camera, especially when I just want to go straight to the point. Um, so today I'm going to be using the shade Sandalwood. It's 6W1. What I realized after getting the foundation is that, okay, I went to Truett's, um, Riverside Mall here in Nelspreet. And um, they didn't seem to know how to uh, like match my skin, you know. So the foundations that were tested on me were too red. They just continued to be worse, like red, 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 red. So um, understanding my undertone, I actually went on YouTube and actually watched uh, YouTube videos of other uh, YouTubers that have reviewed this foundation. And I actually got a color um, looking at the ladies that were closer to my skin tone. So I got the shade Sandalwood. When it arrived, I realized that it was too neutral for my skin because um, I've got a yellowish goldish undertone and this is for um, like a very quiet um, skin, you know. So I actually got the LA Girl Pro color mixing foundation pigment the yellow one so what i do is to put a little bit of the foundation and two pumps of the of this sorry of this and then i mix it together to actually fit my complexion better so let's get right into it i'll be um doing a voiceover while i actually put my foundation on and tell you what the foundation claims and after I put the foundation on, I'm going to come back and actually tell you how it actually feels on the skin. So I'm going to take my mixing palette. This is a very cute butterfly mixing palette. I sell it for 60 Rand if you're interested. Um, it comes with a mixing wand. Um, you can hit me up on Facebook or Instagram if you would like to purchase this. And this is where I'm just gonna um, mix my foundation with the LA Girl Mixing Pigment. So you need to shake your foundation very well. Like shake, 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 shake and get the mixing going. So I'm gonna take a little bit and put it on my palette. And I usually work in sections, so I'm just going to take a little bit and then I'm going to use um, maybe one pump of the mixing uh, pigment. But what I realized here is that I actually squeezed quite a lot. I'm not sure, maybe it, it came out a lot because I haven't been using it um, for some time now. 
but um, I'm actually gonna mix it as I've said before this is not my shade but we try to make it work so I'm gonna take my fixing spray from uh, Maybelline and I'm gonna damp my blending brush so I've already concealed my eyebrows off camera and I dropped my palette so the foundation was just on the ground and there was a little left on the palette so I was quite pissed so now I'm blending in the foundation this foundation is giving it is quite beautiful so I really don't regret spending the money that I've spent to buy this foundation it is a really pretty foundation so now it looks a bit ashy and yeah because I actually um, I put a lot of the mixing pigment um, having a foundation that is not your shade is actually quite a struggle and because of my undertone and the foundation being neutral so if I were to put the foundation as it is over time I would actually turn gray so that's what it does so the yellow pigment it actually helps the foundation to bring back um, those uh, yellow um, hues uh, back in them so that it can stay on my skin the more it oxidizes even though this foundation doesn't oxidize much but if it really hits oxygen it does oxidize um, a little bit so when it does it doesn't make me turn gray so I'm going on um, and actually putting more as you can see at uh, this time <laughs> I was actually cautious and I actually put a little bit of the mixing pigment and I tried to put more foundation just to try to make it blend. Whenever I put on foundation, I try to make it um, match my neck. Well, I match my neck and my chest most of the time so that everything will look uh, seamless. That is why I'm pulling the, the foundation just a little bit down my neck so that it looks flesh to my chest so the Estee Lauder double wear stay in place foundation has an SPF of 10 um, it is for all skin types it is proven uh, to be 24 hour staying power it looks fresh and flawless it uh, stays true to color it feels lightweight and so comfortable you won't believe it's long wear it's transfer resistant it lasts through heat and humidity um, it's medium to full coverage it has a matte finish um, it won't clog pores it is oil controlling it is oil free it is also fragrance free and um, I think that is a winner for me um I'll, I'll actually do a transfer test next time i actually um use this foundation so that we can actually test all of the claims and it really does feel very light on the skin it dries down um matte but not drying on the skin and for the fact that it doesn't clog pores i've never broke out using this foundation so i can definitely agree with that and my facial oil is controlled um i actually wore it when it was um still in the summertime um and i believe that it it can actually hold quite well and what i've noticed is that when i sweat the sweat actually stays on top of the foundation so after planning all that everything is looking pretty everything is looking decent and remember um, I'm gonna do a lot of blending here and I'm actually gonna fix anything that seems off around my neck area um, at the side of my ears and everything like that um, at the end So today I'll be using my Maybelline Instant Rewind Eraser 
if you know me this is absolutely my number one concealer my go-to concealer i'm using the shade caramel and i'm just gonna use it um under my eyes and i'm gonna be highlighting my nose also and my a little bit on my forehead and around my cupid's bow i'll be going in with my micro beauty blending sponge this sponge is yo i love it the texture is different it's it's more like velvety suede-ish so it makes blending like so effortless it just makes everything effortless and um, i'm gonna mention that i actually damped my beauty blending sponge with a bit of my uh, sitting spray so that it doesn't suck in um, all of the concealer because beauty blending sponges they tend to uh, suck the product in because you know uh, sponges uh, react differently when it comes in contact with something creamy or watery it just sucks in the product So I'm going to go in with my Revlon Color Stay Full Cover uh, Foundation in the color Mahogany. I actually use this foundation um, from time to time to contour my face. I just believe that it actually blends better than um, concealers or foundation sticks uh, for me. I love using this foundation. It is quite a beautiful foundation. I also use it on its own, but uh, in a different shade. But today I'm going to be using the foundation to actually uh, contour my face. So everything seems blended. I'm going to take my Revlon Candid um, setting powder in the color 002. I absolutely love this Candid Photo Ready setting powder. And I love uh, the color because it, it has a yellowish um, banana a type of color that it has so I really like it and it melts into your skin I'm gonna go in with my black opal invisible uh, setting powder and I'm actually gonna carve my contour so today my contour doesn't look heavy at all I just wanted a soft um, contour look I didn't want anything harsh anything heavy so I'm just gonna lightly carve um, my contour and make it a bit sharp so 
So I'll be using my Essence um, Compact Powder in the shade Espresso to actually um, set my contour cream. And um, I love this shade and I love this powder from Essence. It's quite beautiful. Um, the shade is not too dark for me. So it is the perfect contouring powder. I'll be using my Wet n Wild Clear Brow Gel to actually um, brush my brow hairs that um, maybe are not in place very well and then yeah it looks good to me. This highlight and bronzing mini palette from Makeup Revolution is amazing. So I'm gonna go in with my setting spray. I've never found a highlighter that is this beautiful before. I'll set my face with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Powder in the shade Dark. So I actually set my face and then usually when I'm done with my makeup, I will go in and just blend with this powder on my neck and a little bit um, behind my ears. I'm gonna take my LA Girl Concealer in the shade Espresso and I'm gonna line my lips. So this concealer um, lip combo is actually something that I'm trying for the first time today, first hand, and I absolutely love it. I'm just going to use this concealer as a guide on um, how I would like my lips to be lined. And then I'll go in with a darker shade in the uh, shade Mahogany. And then I'm gonna line my lips because it is, um, I just feel like this darker shade is, it just looks better than uh, the lighter one. And then I'm gonna take the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color natural. And then I'm just gonna create a ombre effect. And this actually looks bomb on its own. But I'm just gonna take my yellow eyeshadow and create a yellow ombre. Now I'm just going in with my clear lip gloss. This is a lip gloss that I bought from Hamosa Fleur Cosmetics, but you can actually use any brand of clear uh, lip gloss. Essence have. Um, really nice um, clear lip glosses also um, at a very affordable price just to give um, my lips that glossy look today i'm going for a glossy look if you know me i'm a matte girl but today today is different i'm going for a glossy look Loving this look already. Oh, okay, guys, I'm 
almost done with my look. I am loving it. The Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. It's very lightweight. That's one thing that I can say. And it is, yo, like, it is the foundation of dreams. Trust me. It is worth it every penny so now i'm just gonna finish off my um under eyes quickly off camera and then i'm gonna come back and tell you i show you the final look and this lip combo is bomb especially because it matches my eyes so Go over on my TikTok uh, to see um, the videos that I will drop with this look and I hope that you'll like it. But hold it, I'll be right back. Okay guys, now it has come to the end of my video. So I actually um, suggest that you get yourself a bottle of the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. And, um, you know, we tried to make it work, even though sandalwood um, wasn't my exact shade. I'm actually in the shade Amber Honey, which is something that I actually learned later on. So, thank God. So, um, my second bottle will definitely be in the color Amber Honey. And uh, drop a comment below and tell me what you think about my look. I'm actually doing a transition video on my TikTok. Hop on my TikTok and actually see how it actually went. And until next time, do not forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you may be notified whenever I upload a video. So um, share this video with your friends and let your friends share this video with their friends and so on and so on. <laughs> okay, um, for now, it is a goodbye. And you can actually um, drop a comment if you want me to do this eye look on camera with you. I will definitely do a video. But um, otherwise, thank you for clicking on my video and welcome to my new subscribers. I hope that you will be happy being part of the community, being part of the family and I love you all.